I was so happy to have Etrian Odyssey return in the form of Etrian Odyssey Origins Collection. It's HD remasters of the first three games. They aren't really the 3DS remakes. It would have been nice, but the 3DS remakes have different map design, so that kind of makes them different games. So I'm not really that bothered by it. It would have been nice if these had a few more quality of life features though. Uh, but overall, I think they are fine versions of the games. They have some of the quality of life features from modern Etrian Odyssey, like updated mapping features, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Because uh, going back to the older ones, there are some things that could have been updated. Like, for example, making it more obvious uh, where the shortcuts are in the older games and where the pitfalls are and actually giving a warning before one-way shortcuts stuff that didn't really show up until like later Etrian Odyssey games so it would have been nice if they had uh, fixed that for the re-releases they really didn't so uh, in a place with a ton of pitfalls I had to refer to a map so I wouldn't get too annoyed uh, oh well I still had fun with all of the games in there uh, I and again, I do wish they had some more updated features. Like, you see more of the updated features show up by the time you get to Etrian Odyssey 3. But I really do wish some things they added in Etrian Odyssey 3, they would have added to 1 and 2 HD. Again, they're still alright versions of the games. And, like, the FM synth soundtracks were actually completely redone instead of just using the original tracks. It would have been nice if we had an option to listen to the remake soundtrack. Because, like, they totally could have done that. It's not really that big of a deal. But, uh, in the end, I still did enjoy my time with these three remasters. And would love to see more remakes and remasters of the games in the future. Having, like, a complete collection of Etrian Odyssey on Steam would be pretty cool. Honestly, when this was announced in a Nintendo Direct, I got real excited. I was not expecting a Steam release, but... I'm actually glad I got one, because I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the mapping system, like, it's not 100% ideal, but it works well enough. Like, I'm pretty satisfied with what they did. Uh, like, uh, the 3DS touchscreen, like, that was way better for the games. I like doing that a lot more, but I do like how they handled this. Like, you used, like, the right trigger and the right stick to access a menu, and then, like, you got a map that'll pop up with all the icons it was probably one of the best ways they can do it and if you're playing on the switch you could use a touch screen um and then you know if you're playing on pc you can use keyboard and mouse to control so it makes sense that it was pretty much only on switch and uh steam because uh they would have to uh well you wouldn't have the full experience on, like, Xbox or PlayStation. Like, they could totally work, though, because uh, you could still play them entirely with a controller. Like, uh, the Steam versions, like, I'm so grateful they don't make you use the keyboard type stuff in. Because, like, they use, like, an in-game keyboard, so you can just keep playing with the controller. Which is very, very convenient, because, like, I hate it when games on Steam, they, like, hey, you need to type something in, and you're playing with the controller, but... You need to switch to a keyboard, you dumb bitch. Like, it, it really pisses me off. Like, there's no reason to do that. Like, it's totally possible to have, like, an in-game keyboard. Like, I really wish more games would just do that instead of expecting me to switch. Because if you're compatible with a controller, it's just going to piss me off having to switch to a keyboard to type something in. When, you know, it just, you know, I want to sit down in my spot and not have to get up and reach over for the keyboard if I've got, like, if I'm hooked up to, like, a TV or something, and then, like, the Steam Deck, it's a bit more difficult, because, like, sometimes, depending on the TV you're doing it on, like, a keyboard will pop up, which is nice, but it's not always visible on certain TVs, which uh, makes it a little harder, so you're better off, like, uh, going and grabbing a USB keyboard and hooking it up. It's pretty annoying, but... Anyways, like I said, I did love the remasters. I would love to see more of that, more Etrian Odyssey games in the future. The map design could use some tweaking, but I am looking forward to what the series will do next.